you have no doubt heard the statement, don't have all your eggs in one basket. And that's what comes to mind with this real life industry story from the trenches. Welcome to the Trade Securely podcast brought to you by the Receivables Insurance Association of Canada. I'm Janet Eastman and today my guest is Michelle Davey. She is president of Credit Assure, a broker of credit insurance in Quebec. Michelle, welcome to the Trade Securely podcast. Good to see you. Thank you, Janet. Nice to see you too. So this is a really interesting story that you have for us because you had a client who ran a seasonal business and he had one customer that was worth 80% of his business revenue, which is huge exposure. So you encouraged him to get trade credit insurance coverage. And he went with your idea and he got that coverage. And it was really a great decision on his part because at some point when his customer filed for creditor protection, he was owed $1.6 million. So my question for you is, when you first broached that subject of credit insurance, how did he react? He was actually quite open to it. He knew there was a risk. Um, it had been making him nervous. And the way he was looking at this, the insurance would help him sleep at night. Ah, very good. Okay. So you determined with your client that he needed coverage of about $2 million, but the insurance providers were not willing to do that. So what did you have to do here? Well, initially, when uh, when we were looking at uh, at insuring the business, he had two million dollars outstanding on his receivable from that one client, so it was necessary to get that two million. And uh, the insurance company we were working with um, at the time uh, came up with a couple of solutions. One um, was. They don't do this anymore, so I hesitate to mention it, but at the time they were covering for 100%. Now they pay out at 90, but in the day they were paying out at 100%. So that was the initial quote, 1.5 million um, uh, for hundred percent. And if we needed to go to the 2 million, they would pay out if there was a claim at 90%. So that's where their comfort level was. That's not quite where the client's comfort level was. He would have preferred the hundred percent and he knew having the 2 million outstanding on his receivable, that that was, uh, that was a bit of a stretch. So uh, in what we ended up doing is um, he he ended up uh, asking me, is there anything we can do? We went back to the underwriter, the underwriter, because um, my client says, if it's 1.8, we'll accept it. So I pushed for the 1.8. The underwriter wasn't so comfortable with that. 1.8 was still a 90 percent payout. But 1.6, he could up the 1.5 to 1.6 million um, at 100% payout. And that made the client comfortable in the end. That's what he signed on. Okay. So basically, your client gets cover in place. He continues to do business with this customer, having no idea there's actually a problem within the business. And this is where your network connections as a broker really paid off. Tell me what happened. So uh, I'm, I'm sitting in my office one morning and uh, and and someone I know uh, comes in and says, hey, did you know that uh, Richter, who's an insolvency trustee, is sitting, the, their car is outside of the, the buyer's um, offices. And I thought, that does not sound good. Okay. Maybe they go to the gym together or whatever the case may be, but that really doesn't sound good in, in my mind. So what I did was I picked up the phone. I called my client and I said, uh, is, is there anything going on uh, with your client? Have you heard anything? Is there, you know, any is it rumors, that kind of thing. And he says, not really. Um, but I did get an envelope. This is just after the holidays. I did get an envelope. I haven't opened it yet. 
So uh, he opens the letter and it says that they are postponing payments to their suppliers. So I put two and two together and I said, you got to come in. We've got to write up this claim now. We filled out the claim forms together, um, submitted them immediately. He got paid out before the other suppliers who didn't know there was a problem there was, it took a couple of months for the insolvency to actually concretize um so uh, my client got paid out when the other suppliers uh had just received the trustees paperwork okay so the key point here is your your connection to this person who saw this this person in the parking lot got the ball rolling immediately for your client. And this is why he was able to get paid out so quickly. Otherwise yeah. he would have been sitting, waiting and waiting. He would have been waiting just like everybody else because they had sent a letter saying they're postponing payments. That's, so everybody that's what your network means to you, right? That's why yeah. that's so important to have that connection. It It's so important to exactly to have that open conversation with people and 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 be um inviting maybe mm -hmm. to to be able to receive that information uh uh because not everybody wants to uh to bring these things up so yeah. so what's your client have gone bankrupt oh if I, for sure i'm i'm sure he would have it re represented 80 percent of his business so that was huge mm -hmm. um so a loss like this you know when when they filed he was owed one million five hundred ninety five thousand dollars so right under the 1.6 million dollar coverage um that's that's a big loss and when a big loss like that happens for sure it affects the business um i i think we would have seen what we call the domino effect in my industry and that would have meant that he would have um had to have uh, gone through the creditor protection uh, just like his clients so yeah so what for you what do you think is the big lesson learned from this from the trenches incident Cover your assets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Cover your assets. It's absolutely important to, to let the insurer worry about the risk. Let the company worry about sales. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we do love to say that, cover your assets, because generally speaking, your book of business is your biggest asset, and many, many, many companies don't get coverage for that correct that's right that's right um i my understanding is the industry penetration is in that 20 percent range of of what companies could be insuring so um you know there's there's an awful lot of companies that should get some coverage and and like i mentioned the domino effect is hugely important so when a big uh client files the suppliers may follow suit yeah. Michelle, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. It's a pleasure, Janet. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Michelle Davey is president of Credit Assure. She is a longstanding member of REACT, the Receivables Insurance Association of Canada. And we will continue to have more stories from the trenches on the Trade Securely podcast. And you can watch for them on our website at receivablesinsurancecanada.com. Follow us on Twitter and also on LinkedIn. And thanks very much for listening.